Hi Pisces, Heather here from the Crystal Vein Tarot, here to do a very quick um, weekly reading for the week of March 2nd to the 8th. So I'm going to pull two cards and then I'm also going to pull a White Light Oracle card and a Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle card and then I'm going to pull an Animal Rune. So let's see what energies, what spirit messages there are for you for the first week of March Pisces. Also, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so you are notified when all my other readings are available to you and come out. Okay, so we have actually these two cards here that just fell. Okay, we have King of the Earth, or King of Earth, and Justice. We're going to hold those up so you can see them. Hopefully you can see them, and the light isn't reflecting. And then there is Justice. Okay, so Pisces, with these two cards here, the King of Earth, this is about you having a successful time in this first week of March. Um, you will confidently accept opportunities that are offered and that come your way, and you have the Midas touch this week. So if you have any new projects that are coming your way, any new endeavors that you want to take on, um, you know, even like for example, and this can even relate to relationships, so if you are single and, and you have that blind date you're going on, well this is you having that Midas touch that everything you're doing is um, just coming up fantastic right now and, and you, you almost can't do anything wrong. Um, this is also about you being very generous, pr uh, professional, responsible and practical as well in your day to day life for this week and bringing those attributes forward Pisces. So you also have a justice here and justice is about, this is about fair and just decisions. So if you've been waiting on something, um, on some kind of a decision to be made, do know that that decision will be made this week and it will be fair and just. So it's kind of like a win-win for all parties involved. Um, this is also about you doing, um, or do what you know is right and standing up for your beliefs. So if you see something happening, like you see some kind of injustice, um, whether or not it's at work, whether or not it's in your personal life, um, this is also about you standing up for yourself and standing up for others around you. So that's the energy around you for this week. I'm now going to pull a white light oracle card. Okay. Okay. Okay, and we have seven blessings of Eve. Okay, actually I'll hold this up a little closer to you. So Pisces, the um, so the seven blessings of Eve. This is about you having um, you bringing forward your natural healing abilities this week because you have a lot of natural healing abilities, Pisces. You have spiritual gifts, and these gifts are going to enter your heart and manifest as a blessing in your life. So you do have innate talents and abilities, and these will help to support your soul and. and um, help you grow into a full and glorious um, like vision of what it is that you want to do and manifest in your life and it will help you with that and that manifestation. So do know Pisces that you have a very beautiful divine destiny to fulfill and um, so make sure that you're choosing your thoughts and your words wisely that they reflect what it is that you really want to put forward into the universe um, because you have a very strong influence. It's, it's subtle but it's strong and, and it reaches more people than you even realize. And so that's the energy that you have for this week and going forward. And now I'm going to pull a wisdom for, or sorry, a crystal wisdom healing oracle card. And let's see what crystal you have around you for this week. Okay, and you have card number 35, which is the Soulmate card. So Pisces, this is actually, I'm going to hold this up. This is a really beautiful card. This is a very beautiful crystal in this picture. So you see the two points here. This rep represents Soulmate or Twin Flame energy. But one of the things with this card is it's also about you realizing, Pisces, that you don't need someone else to complete you. So your twin flame, your soulmate, um, that, that energy, um, you don't, that, that isn't an energy that completes you and makes you whole. That is an energy that 
compliments you. Um, so if if you if you you're feeling this week like you're if you're kind of feeling a little unloved, um, do recognize that that feeling is something that's coming from inside of you. You know, it, it's a bit of avoidance inside you that that needs to be fulfilled, but you can only fulfill it yourself. So you can't use someone else um, or something else to fulfill that. This is about you going within and finding what it is that makes your heart sing, what gives you joy, what gives you emotional fulfillment and expressing that and um, putting that out into the universe and, um, and you completing yourself that way. So that's that energy for that first week of March for you. And now I'm going to pull one final. I'm going to pull an animal rune. And we have, we have the praying mantis. Okay, so that is your energy. I'm just going to hold that up for you. Give it a moment to adjust the camera. And this is about stillness. I'll just set it there so you can see that. So the praying mantis is about stillness, and um, I'm going to I'm going to read it from the book here to get a little bit more information for you. Uh, these these runes are new to me, so I'm still learning them. Um, but the praying mantis appears when it's time for you to still your mind and body in order to grasp new insight and new nourishment within your life. So use stillness and camouflage to protect yourself. It also heralds a greater alertness to dangers as well as opportunities when stillness is used. So the praying mantis epitomizes the power of stillness. Through learning to still the mind and go within, you can draw upon a greater power in all areas of your being and life. And this stillness can be in the form of meditation, simple contemplation, or even dreams. Dream activity is much more significant now, so pay attention to what it is telling you. Through learning to use stillness, you will enhance your creativity and healing. You will awaken, recognize, and manifest your intuitive capabilities and your protective powers more easily. Wow, so very beautiful. So the praying mantis. So Pisces, this concludes your reading for that first week of March and the energies that are around you. Again, please like, share, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. Thank you for watching.